Hey, what's going on guys? It's Turks and today we're gonna to be doing a video on episode one of creating a bot farm. So I'm gonna break it down, basically give you guys the steps on what I'm gonna be taking to accomplish this goal of a bot farm. The first step is gonna be creating mass accounts, run the accounts through Tutorial Island, store like all accounts in a public uh a pullable local SQL database, uh start bots with seven quest points and run various scripts for money. Then I'm going to create within those scripts, there's going to be a function for auto muling, which will call a function to maybe another bot or another specified uh, client to pull to log in at that request. And then it will basically meet the, uh, the the worker or the bot at another world uh, or the same world to basically trade over 100K. Once that once one of the bots hits 100K, it's going to basically transfer over these funds to the uh, mule. Uh, then we're going to create a secondary non-botted account for to mule everything that comes from those botted accounts because the mules will be botted also. Or well, they're not going to be botted, but they're going to be botted to accept money from the workers. So we need to uh, create bots that are manually created on residential IPs or maybe even uh, just a dedicated data center IP. It doesn't really matter. And then we're going to make a third mule, which is going to be uh, basically once it hits about like 10 to 20 or 10 to 50 mil on the secondary mules that are not botted we will uh, we'll transfer it over to the the third the third mule uh, so that we can decrease ban rate regardless of that we're gonna basically we're gonna try and create as much as we can in Java uh, to accomplish these tasks we're gonna try and make our own scripts and things of that sort so if you guys want to follow the uh, progress and see what happens uh, you guys can we're gonna start off with the create mass accounts so today i'm gonna create a script that um will basically create mass accounts on uh runescape.com we're gonna go create a bot that goes here fills out all this information and we're gonna use two captcha as our service or no we're gonna use anti captcha as our service to uh bypass free captcha um doing this we will use Fiddler. And we are going to basically monitor the traffic that is going through. So as you can see on this screen here, you can decrypt the data, basically see what it's submitting um, upon request. So you can see everything on the page here. What we basically need to find is the site key to um, create these scripts for uh, recaptcha. This is what you use to um, like an identifier kind of for the for the recaptcha service. And then this is different per website. You need the URL along with this site key. This is going to be the post data. Uh, this is what we're going to use to basically um, for that. We're going to use this data to make our post request and basically create these accounts. So project name is going to be called mass or account creator. RS account creator. There we go. Um, I don't have the best of fucking ability of coding here. So just ignore, um, my shit code, I guess. Let me plan this out for a second, and I will be back once we start writing the actual script. Okay, guys, so we finished the program. It's doing exactly what we need it to do. I'm going to go ahead and break down a couple of these things here. Um, once it pulls from there, it basically creates a reject pattern using a random, num or a random character from the alphabet to Z. And it has to start with that, and it has to end with a random integer that I've defined also that's that could be uh, up to 10 uh, characters basically all you need to know is that it basically generates a random string uh, so that we can or a random character rather so that we can pull a random name from our Dutch names.txt that's that so uh, get user info this is gonna be basically when we run the program it's gonna ask us for the amount of counts that we need and and, and then it asks for the amount of threads that we want to run so that we can run uh, X amount of concurrent threads while we um, wait for the accounts to go so set threads is gonna be our 
uh, thread setting function here that sets the threads so that we can um, basically get our accounts and have X amount of threads running at, at one time. The actual, it's where all the work comes into play. Um, I've had it basically uh, compatible with proxies. So what it does is it basically takes in this file called proxies.txt. It um, it adds this each each line of the proxy file into an array, and uh, I have this manually de defining the uh, like I just I change this whenever I need to, so I can probably get it to where it reads the length of the file or how x amount of lines or reads reads the length of the array, and then puts that there. But I'm just too lazy. I don't really care too much. But it, anyways, it grabs the proxy, um, puts it into the uh, the post here uh, this one grabs the captcha and what I did for the captcha is they had their own API anti captcha has their own API and their like own little uh, project kind of set up and I just kind of took that because I don't I can't be asked to make a new one when there's already one that's made so why not just use what they already have available but anyways I did that um, I have it extracting a piece of data that says you can big begin which means that the account has been created successfully um, I go down into uh, this basically removes the amount of total accounts that we need this is all basically just a bunch of stuff to make sure that the threads are running the way they're supposed to that's all you need to get get out of that um, it was pretty complex it was kind of hard to get it down but I'm pretty sure there's a lot a, a way way better way of doing this this is just the way I had it set up so that it can run X amount of threads until it needs to finish basically so uh, get user info accounts equals zero. If it if if it if the total accounts equals zero, then it goes and it writes all the names from the um, list accounts array into the the file here. So uh, that's our account creator. I'm gonna go ahead and start it. We'll see it in action. So I'm gonna put I want 50 accounts and I want to run 10 threads. So now it's running all these threads. I'm gonna speed this up in the video. And then you'll see that the accounts are starting to get created here. But I'm going to let this run for a little while. It's probably going to take a good minute. Um, and with anti captcha each request or each capture that it gets from the um, from the server takes anywhere. For, it, it's about like a, a penny per captcha. It's really cheap. It's nothing expensive. So we're going to let that run. And I'll be back whenever it finishes. All right, guys, as you can see, it completed the task here. Look, and it's to complete that task. It was very close to 10 minutes. Um, it's not very bad, but we can do better by basically increasing the amount of threads that we run simultaneously. Um, that run costed me, let me take a look. So for 50 accounts, paid about Mm, 15 16 cents in uh I paid about 16 cents in uh captures so as you can see it's kind of worth it or it's really worth it it's not kind of worth it it's really worth it so what it did is it saved all that information to my file for names.txt um yeah so this is the end of the first video as you can see we've created a easy to use um account creator for runescape so if you guys want to follow up on the next portion um feel free to subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you, that you can stay updated on the uh, progress here uh, i'll be creating the next video maybe within the next two days or so i'm going to keep you guys updated and show you guys what i'm going through and what i'll be doing with these accounts that i just created here so stay tuned uh subscribe Post notifications and I'll see you in the next video.